follow the steps in the academy or even just the steps we've been going through in these videos, maintenance becomes really, really easy. Um, you know, you've just, you've, you've done such a good job planning and installing things that maintenance becomes not much of an issue. So let me show you here. Um, I'll point the camera down. First of all, I should just show you something I haven't mentioned yet. And that's the fact that a, a vegetable garden, although it's fall right now, so mine isn't in the best shape, you know, things are kind of dying back, but you can see how it can be beautifully incorporated into a nice curvy bed. It doesn't have to be, uh, out in the back corner of the yard. You know, it's right by the house. It's a really nice, curvy, beautiful bed right up by the house there. So um, that's kind of a side point that I should have mentioned somewhere because that's what I really love is, is doing that. So I want to look at the mulch here first. You know, when we have this mulch here, such a simple, inexpensive thing to do, and it could be leaves, it could be something else, but we've taken care of most of the weeds and any ones that do come up are so easy to pull. We have um, made it so we have to water much less. It's gonna hold water in there, in the mulch itself, but more um, also from stopping evaporation. I have a helicopter going over. Um, uh, stopping evaporation. Um, it you know, improves the organic matter content of the soil because it breaks down slowly. It gives homes to all kinds of little critters that organisms, animals, and microbes that help control pests. So it does everything right. A mulch, there's just so many benefits to a mulch. So really what it comes down to, the main thing is, um, is, is watering, which, I'm, which I'll do today here. You wanna water properly, you know, deeply, not too often. You don't want to do it every day, like for, you know, a few minutes. You want to water really deeply, make the roots go down for the water. Um, you want to water the whole soil, not just the plants. We need to give water to all the, you know, the worms and the microorganisms, the fungi, all that, uh, everything that lives in here needs water in order to make the soil healthy. Um, so we, that's why we want to water the whole soil. Really, really super important. And the mulch, we want to keep the mulch wet too. In terms of pruning, I do very little pruning. I've learned that a plant knows if it needs to be pruned and if it thinks that it needs to discard a branch, it'll do it on its own. There's no need for us to prune any of this stuff when we plant it. If you wanna pull out unsightly things, you can um, for aesthetics, but it's, it's for aesthetics. It's not for the health of the plant. The plant will figure out what to do in terms of pruning. The other thing I do, which I've talked about quite a lot on the blog and I get into way more detail in the academy is I use a lot of biostimulants throughout the year with my inoculants. So I'll mix my EM, you know, with like something like sea minerals and liquid kelp, um, uh, you know, the fish, the humic acids, all of that stuff. I'll mix it in water. And when I get to watering my plants, which I need to do today, um, you know, I'm watering them with this really beneficial, these biostimulants that provide uh, a broad spectrum of nutrients instead of just nitrogen, phosphorus, uh, potassium, and, and, um, enzymes, proteins, oils, all kinds of active substances, even microorganisms, uh, mix them in with my, with my inoculants and I really make a really nice brew that I'm gonna teach you how to do in the academy. So that's all there kind of is for maintenance. Um, it's, and then, you know, we get into a little bit of pest control stuff, but eventually once the garden's healthy, the pests are, uh, the pests are gonna be largely taken care of. So, oh, I'm so excited. I wish I could tell you about the bonuses I have for, um, for when you sign up for the Academy, I have some really cool bonuses, free bonuses lined up, but I don't have them. Um, I, I, you know, I'm talking with some people. I don't have them firmly in place, but as soon as I do, you'll read about them um, in the information page about the Academy. So I better not say them yet, but I think that's really cool. Um, you know, for those of you who are interested in the Academy, uh, I always have some kind of a guarantee. I haven't quite figured out what it'll be for this, but I really, I, you know, I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours putting this together this year and I know it's good and I, and I know most people are going to love it. And so what I do is I, I'll probably do something like a 30 day, you know, risk free, 100% money back guarantee so that you can um, try it out for 30 days, see if you like it. I know most people will, but some people it just, it may not be what you were expecting. And in that case, you can just let me know and I'll refund, you know, all your money, no problem. It doesn't matter at all to me. I really just want you to try it out. Um, and so I'll definitely have something like that just to make sure everyone gets a chance to try it out and they can feel that they can do it without any risk, you know? Um, and so that's the, uh, the last video that I'm filming in this series. 
And so maintenance, you know, it's about, it's, it's mulching, always keeping the beds mulched, watered. Uh, I don't worry about pruning. I just worry about organic matter, water, and my biostimulants and my inoculants, you know. And then I do some stuff maybe once a year, like a little bit of compost and all that kind of stuff. Um, certainly, though, we can get into a lot of detail on how to really do a good job on, on choosing different mulches, making a sheet mulch, making our compost, mixing all these things together properly, um, and then getting into the design uh, of, of the gardens and planting thing, all the different ways to plant, planting into sheet mulch and seeding and starting seeds. And, um, and then there's a, I'm excited about next year, there's a whole bunch of stuff uh, I haven't filmed yet about, about a little bit of pruning um, that you know, uh, rarely is necessary and um, about um, harvesting and storing and preserving your food and uh, oh, just a whole bunch of fun stuff I'm gonna do next year. I've even started some cover crops right over here that I'm going to be uh, teaching about because cover crops are another, like one of the best fertilizers in my opinion. Um, so that's all for now. I guess I could keep going forever. I get pretty excited about this stuff, but I think that's all for today. Mm -hmm.